Hey, what is up everyone? This is Kieran here. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. If you're a mutual user like Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max or Poco M2 Pro, then must try out this custom home. This is called Exidum UI. I made a video on Exidum UI for Redmi Note 8 also some time ago and it's now available as unofficial build for Redmi Note 9 Pro or mutual devices. Comes with the August security patch. You cannot install the September security patch yet, but yes, if you want to use the Pixel props, you can simply spoof your device to use September security patch and get Google Photos unlimited storage. By default, it's not available here. The performance seems to be decent enough. It is a vanilla build. You need to install Google Apps on your own. So, depends upon which Google Apps you are using. Recommended are Pico, OpenG Apps, Air M64, Android 11 Pico. You can try out those. In the terms of changes in quick settings panel, as you can see, almost same things are present here. You cannot customize these quick setting rows and columns, unfortunately. The color is what it is already pre-installed. I haven't applied any kind of custom ASIN color yet, but you can if you want to. A theming option is present for you. Screen recording option is also present, but does not include major extra customizations here. So yes, you need to keep in mind. In the terms of default launcher, as it doesn't come with the pixel launcher as it doesn't come with the pixel app so no pixel launcher available unfortunately you have the icon back support you have the hidden and protected apps which means you can hide the apps and even you can lock the apps if you want to so that's actually quite good it's based on lineage os and lineage os of course AOSP, which comes with le less customizations but better stability according to some of the users and you can see the settings as different ui compared to all other AOSP based custom rooms that's good i have tried this exism ui some time ago on my redmi note 8 also so i know that in the terms of battery backup i'm not sure why but i am getting huge battery drain it's just my own honest opinion that i am having huge battery drain as you can see active drain sometimes 12 sometimes 13 percent per hour which is more than enough i was looking for something different but it's not a big deal because it's kind of a gaming room and you get very interesting game mode which we're going to talk about later on but here as you can see the things are actually quite simple the battery backup in my case is not so good so but depends upon the usage how you use your device so maybe the battery backup might be different in your case and might be different in my case in the terms of safety status uh, safety status unfortunately is not passing out of the box and even after installing matches it's not passing if we don't know if you're also having safety net issues i made a fix video just some days ago maybe four or five days ago you can go and check it out i haven't applied that fix yet by the way in this one i just wanted to let you know that if the safety status is passing or not it was not passing so yes you need to follow that guide you can check out that guide already available on my channel i've tried some anx camera things that if anx camera is working it is not pre-installed by the way i have applied i have installed anx camera through a magisk module and it's just working perfectly fine but the thing is 48 megapixel is not working maybe i need to apply any kind of other fixes to make it work but i'm not sure about that but in my case 48 megapixel is not working i tried that and if i enable this 48 megapixel nothing is working here as you can see it's stuck down if i try to open once again it will not be opened so i need to clear the data and do some stuff like that so this was the things i just want to let you know anx camera unfortunately is not working in the terms of default camera is what you get pre-installed is google camera go edition that's actually quite good and compared to the normal snap camera it's better if you get mimi camera or anx camera pre-installed that would be more better than this but still it's not bad google camera go edition also the gcam normal basic google camera is also working and the gcam which i'm using here is like the previous one mgc by bsc manual google camera by bsc you can also try out that i made a video i already shared on my tech current cloud channel so you can go and join that and you can get this information now moving on to some things here for example in theming section or in other customization section if you move on to the custom themes you get some themes here for example you can apply fonts by the way no major customizations unfortunately this room does not come with huge customizations as you can see you can customize these colors if you want to customize icons fonts etc it's up to you if you want to in the terms of other options you can see privacy location etc security you get the app locker you get the fingerprint but face unlock is not available that was quite impressive it's not there by the way i don't use face unlock much if you don't know i already told this in my previous videos but yes it's up to you if you also don't use face unlock then there might be no issues status bar has some basic customizations for you system icons clock positions which you can customize battery styles brightness slider in the terms of other customizations you can customize the quick settings you can customize buttons navigation bar bit of customizations available here and there 
you also get new theming engine you can apply some themes you can check out the exitum group in telegram you can go and check it out and find out themes for you i have iron man theme i haven't applied that but you can give it a try if you want to if you want you can comment below i'll try to provide the icon man iron man theme link and as i previously mentioned it comes with a very interesting gaming mode this was one of the main highlights in this one you get performance level you can customize it to value up to six disable notification alert no ringing etc some advanced options in gaming mode was what you get in exism ui which is a very good thing you can get this you can get this exism ui gaming mode in some other custom rooms also right now but it's right now officially from exism ui these are the things i just want to let you know and if you want to install this thing on a device the link to install is in the description you can also install google apps if you want to this is all thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through the air